Greetings, folks. Okay, so you have a current carrying wire, and you'd like to know what the magnetic field looks like at some point close to the wire. Or you have a group of current carrying wires, and you'd like to know what the net magnetic field looks like um, at some point in proximity to that group of current carrying wires. That's what this video is going to show you how to do. So this is the way we would pictorially de denote a current going into the page. These are supposed to be the tail feathers of the arrow as it goes in. We would like to determine the magnetic field at these various points around the wire. To do that, we'd have to put a compass at those various points because a compass is how you determine the direction of a magnetic field. So here we have the direction of the field at this point. Here we have it 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 at this point. And here we have it at this point. In other words, this magnetic field is going to circulate around this current carrying wire. So let's say in a test you were given that current carrying wire going into the page. And you were asked to determine both the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field are units away from the wire. What steps would you execute to do that? So if you think back with what we did with the compasses, you'll know the magnetic field is actually in that direction, which is tangent to this arc, which is a part of this circle that is centered on the wire. So if you didn't know any better, what you could think to yourself is, okay, I've got the wire. If I drew a circle, and at this point drew a tangent, the tangent would either go this way or it would go that way. One of those two directions has got to be the direction of the magnetic field. It's this way or this way is with what I call the right thumb rule. And the way you use the right thumb rule is that you take the thumb of your right hand and you put it along the line of the current. So the current's going into the page, so you would direct your thumb into the page. Once you've positioned your thumb, you will notice that the fingers of your right hand curl in that direction. That will give you the sense of the circulation of the magnetic field, which means in this case, the magnetic field at this point will be tangent to this arc along that line. What about the magnitude? You would expect that would be proportional to the size of the current. You would expect it would be inversely proportional to the distance from the wire. And if you throw in a proportionality constant, you end up with the magnetic field function for a current carrying wire, r units away from the wire. And where mu naught is called the permeability of free space, it's just a constant. So in a nutshell, our current carrying wire moving into the page is going to have a magnetic field in this direction with that magnitude. What happens if you've got a group of wires? So here I have a current carrying wire into the page, another into the page. Here is a current carrying wire out of the page. They are A units away from one another set on a square. What is the net magnetic field at the origin? So I'm going to deal with this wire first. So I say to myself, if I drew a circle that was centered on this wire, or just an arc would do, tangent to that arc, either this way or this way, would be the magnetic field that was set up due to this current carrying wire. So here's my circle, or more conveniently, my arc. And I use the right thumb approach. I put my right thumb into the page, my fingers curl this way of my right hand, which means apparently at this point the direction of the magnetic field is tangent to this arc in that direction. A little bit of geometry gives me that this distance is A times the square root of 2, so the magnitude of the magnetic field is mu naught i over 2 pi times r, where r is A times the square root of 2. If I then attack this current carrying wire, I think to myself, okay, arc, magnetic field is going to be tangent this way or this way. So here I show the whole circle, and here is just the arc. Again, right thumb rule, here the thumb is coming out of the page, 
the fingers of the right hand curl in this direction, which means at this point, tangent to this arc, the magnetic field is that way. And its magnitude is mu naught i over 2 pi times the distance between there and there, which is a. Doing the last current carrying wire, which is going into the page. Here is my arc, thumb into the page, fingers curl in this direction, so the direction of the magnetic field is like so. Magnitude is mu naught i over 2 pi times this distance, which is a. So putting everything together, this is what it would look like on a test. If you were actually asked for the net magnetic field at this point, you'd have to take this magnetic part and break it into its x and y components. And if you did all of that, this is what it would come out to be. So that's pretty much it.